I now, Dr. Farid, I'll turn to you um, with a perspective from the Emirates and Thank the region. Thank you. It's really a very interesting and very important discussion that we have regarding uh, the global governance uh, and being more prepared uh, to pandemics. I think that uh, uh, there is a lot to be done. Uh, there are six main uh, priority areas that we need to focus on, starting from the uh, leadership commitment. And I see that the global conversation to revise the governance structure is really going on, but it is slower compared to the rest of having a new global pandemic which is existing uh, to all uh, to all of us uh, at uh, the global level but also at, at the regional level i think the imro region is uh, very uh, unique in terms of the structure we have a, a wide disparity of economics we have major insecurity uh, uh, and uh, political instability in certain areas of our region that really increase uh, the risk of outbreaks and also also increase the risk of any future pandemics. So in terms of leadership uh, commitment, I see that uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic was a, a very interesting lesson to uh, the political leadership across the world because of the huge impact uh, to uh, not only to the health, but also to the economics and to the political systems across the world. However, we need also to realize that some of the challenges that we faced are really uh, uh, constraints for the uh, com uh, global community to work uh, together in collaborative approach. We could see, uh, for example, uh, nationalism towards vaccines, which prevented us from uh, good access to different vaccinations. So in terms of the global governance systems, we need to think of what are the priorities that we need to focus on. And um, the uh, having strong healthcare systems is one of the critical issues. We know and we understand understand that there are fragile healthcare systems in certain uh, countries and certain regions, but we cannot really uh, afford those uh, systems to affect uh, uh, the global uh, health security in terms of emerging in new diseases. So we need to work together to uh, strengthen those healthcare systems in the minimum requirements in terms of the disease surveillance, in terms of the access to care, and in terms of the vaccination. I think my colleagues covered vaccination uh, very uh, um, comprehensively. I would like to add to that the uh, access to immunotherapies. And uh, this has been really a game changing during COVID-19. However, we could see that immune therapies are not affordable because of the high pricing that have been uh, uh, really an issue to many countries. So it was limited to certain countries who can afford it. So I think uh, thinking about the global governance and preparedness, immune therapies should be really part of the priority areas for the discussions in addition to vaccinations because they are easier in terms of the manufacturing and faster in terms of mobilization and uh, effectiveness for the high risk uh, affected groups. So immunotherapies, uh, really uh, are very important part of the discussion. Uh, I think uh, also talking about innovation and research, research is very important because we need to uh, uh, not uh, stop in terms of accelerating research. Time was a critical during COVID and our governance in terms of the research uh, approvals and the prioritizations are really very slow that are not matching the need, the global need. So we need to uh, talk collectively on how best we can uh, um, revise the governance systems and revise our research regulations to accelerate research and to uh, align our research priorities to the risks that we have in terms of the uh, um, global uh, health security um, to, to the world. Uh, the last point that I would like cover, uh, to cover is related to surveillance. And I believe that we have really historically been working uh, uh, closely at international government to define uh, the surveillance requirements across the globe. However, I think our surveillance uh, needs uh, need to be revised in terms of being more comprehensive. We had a lot, many uh, disease-based surveillance systems that are uh, 
really defined well at the global community, but it's not covering all the risks that we have. So we need to do a risk assessment in terms of what are the potential risks in terms of the future pandemics and what how we can enhance our surveillance systems to be more comprehensive, more integrated, and more adaptive to the new technologies to support our preparedness in the future. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for, uh, for uh, bringing uh, the issue of research. We're talking of regionalization and decentralization of manufacturing capacity, but obviously research is, a, is an essential component.